In the impact segment tonight, Georgetown law student Sandra Fluck again put herself front and center of the contraception controversy today, first by writing an op-ed online and then defending it in front of the camera. I wanted people to understand that this is neither government subsidized contraception nor is contraception as incredibly cheap as some people have shared. I was actually speaking out about students and about low income women across the country who need access to this care. It's unfortunate that some folks have made it so much about, about me and my access because that was not what my testimony was about. Now, that testimony helped kick off an effort by Democrats to try to capitalize on Fluck's newfound fame. But, a big but, according to a New York Times poll released today, this may be backfiring on President Obama. Check this out. Just 41 percent of women now approve of the job President Obama is doing, while one month ago that number was at 53 percent who approved. Joining us now from Austin, Texas, Fox News contributor Jim Moo Green, and from Dallas, Texas, conservative commentator Hannah Smith. Um, all right, ladies, some new poll numbers out, and they're fairly reflective of what we saw in yesterday's Washington Post ABC poll, fairly consistent on this issue of approval ratings. Uh, let's, let's hone it down, though, to the issue of women. And, Jammu, you can, uh, you can chime in on this. After this narrative has been pushed and pushed and pushed and argued and pushed and articulated and coordinated, and we got millions of mailers going out apparently today uh, from the Democrats uh, in this reelection effort, the numbers don't seem to have translated for the president in a great you know, surge of female support. Why? Well, Laura, I think we can all agree that every issue is a woman's issue. And if you look at rising gas prices, if you look at the fact that for the past few weeks we've been all consumed with this potential war with Iran, there are a lot of issues that women are going to be focused on and concerned with. So it's not a surprise that one month those numbers are going to reflect well for President Obama and the next month another snapshot will be different. But at the end of the day, this conversation about contraception is one that Democrats want to have. This conversation about contraception is reinvigorating women activists. And when you look at his results in 2008, winning a larger margin of women voters than ever recorded in a presidential race, I think President Obama is well on his way to repeating right. that. So, Jim, just so I'm clear, you believe uh, the issue of getting free contraception from your, uh, your uh, insurance, that that issue is in the top five issues? for women voters in the United States. With all the things facing this country, you believe that, you know, make sure you get that 999 covered and get it in Walmart, you know, I don't know, condoms, you know, I don't, I don't know how expensive they are, but do uh, you think that's really the issue? Well, I'm not going to place it if it's in the top one or two I don't think it's in the top 20. It, Let me tell you, down. it's not in the top 20, what, Jammu. I'm guessing, I'm guessing, but I think I'm correct. But where women do see this issue is that they feel that they have been backed into a corner. When you look at what has happened across the states, not just with the Affordable yeah. Care Act, state by state, women have come under attack by legislation that's been happening for the past couple of years. When right. they feel backed into a corner, they're going to speak out and stand up. They feel backed into a corner. Jammu, I think, is referring to, and, and you're in Texas, referring to the fact that the HHS secretary, uh, Kathleen Sebelius, Hannah, uh, refused to give Texas a waiver, and basically mm -hmm. Texas is on the hook now uh, for about $30 million for uh, family planning or med what services Medicaid used to pay for because Texas said no to Planned Parenthood's involvement. I think that's what Jammu is talking about. Well, I think what Jammu said, you know, every issue is a women's issue, is really important to remember that religious liberty is a woman's issue. And when you look at the New York Times poll that just came out, it shows that women favor a religious exemption for religiously affiliated groups like schools and hospitals when they have a religious objection to this mandate. It's actually 53 percent of women favor an exemption for religious groups. And if you look at the, the other number is 46 percent favor versus 44 four percent that oppose an exemption for any employer, not even a religious yeah. employer, but any employer that has a religious exemption to this mandate. So clearly women are speaking on this issue of religious liberty yeah. and the polls show that they support an exemption from this mandate. Well, what I what I'm seeing here and Jammu, we can shift to what Ms. Fluke uh, said today. Fifty one percent of those polled, New York Times, CBS Today, uh, said there should be uh, people should be able to opt out any employer 
for religious or conscience reasons. And I think this whole issue has been totally spun in a false and, and uh, really damaging fashion. This is about every employer who has a moral conscience who says, you know something, this isn't something I support. I really don't want to uh, ha have uh, insurance plans that offer sterilization or abortifacient drugs or uh, birth control pills. That's just not where I am. But I, if you want to go do that at the Planned Parenthood clinic or a community health clinic, more power to you. Go for it. But th that's an interesting number, 51 to 40. Laura, if my employer told me that he or she was uh, religiously against me getting a pap smear, that is, that's the direction we're heading in when you look right, at pap, what the smear is Rubio care. Amendment, and so is contraception. That's exactly it. And that's what Sandra Fluke was talking about. Uh -huh. Her testimony was what because her good does, friend yeah. what had does ovarian does birth cysts. Control prevent? Jimmo, what disease does ovarian birth control cysts. pills? B birth control. Let me answer, Laura. Okay. Ovarian cysts are ovarian cysts are severely reduced with contraception. So everybody should be on birth control. Pills. Many women. Okay, but Laura, can I just well, add many your women use okay, it for health reasons. The Catholic Sorry. Church. Go ahead. The Catholic Church has specifically said that it would do not deny any woman. It would not deny any woman contraceptive drugs for the treatment of ovarian cysts. So right. when it is used for it's a medical, medical purpose, reason. contraceptive would be yeah. allowed. So well, that's simply way, a distraction yeah. and a diversion. Wait, there's, yeah, there's a medical debate about, about whether injecting yourself uh, or taking massive amounts of hormones is good for your body. We're all into organic and natural, but suddenly we want to take lots of hormones. I, I, whatever. Uh, guys, it's great to see you. And, uh, we'll